See, I grew up watching niggas that'd kick a woman off in the ass. Not that it right. Granddad never jump over my mama then. <laughs> Four years later, granddaddy come up dead, cause grandmama done pausing me. <laughs> but they love one another. They love one another to death deep in the heart. They throw hot grease on each other all the time. Nigga, uh, that it might not even sound right. <laughs> Nigga, I looked it up to Mister on the color program. <laughs> she just said, Mister, all he did was get on top of her and did his duty. And when he called me, push all the friends to get up off her, try to fuck her sister, all that type of shit. Mister was a little I buried my mother. I'm a Mister kind of nigga. <laughs> Fuck, you ain't no sister no more fuck, she got to go. Sorry, y'all. And y'all get drunk together, and I'm gonna get her extra drunk. And I'm gonna slide out the room and try to see what she like, you know? Nigga, why y'all back? There's a bunch of you low down there and got another nigga. Listen, lady, if you got your old dope boy nigga, I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them. Let me tell the truth on them niggas. Trapping and tricking go together. It ain't a nigga that didn't sell dope, didn't have a dope thing girlfriend. Whether that was your auntie, his homeboy mama, he was sneaking and tricking and fucking in the wee hours of the night. And them niggas that had some trap, you lying to me. Them niggas that had some trap that were letting them hoes come over there and clean up. Nigga, please. Nigga, please. Them niggas know what I'm talking about. Nigga, the best dick sucking that I've got was by Mexican Maria. Nigga, I was there. That's my own right head today, because I ain't found nine more. They can suck dick better than the dope and the smoke crack. Shit, nigga, 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 some of them babies, you got to say fuck them. <laughs> some of them niggas, some of them babies, you got to say fuck them because you can't get spread thin. You got two over here, one right here, you got a new one right here, and three step chill. Nigga, some of them kids, nigga, you can't even take care of. Nigga, you gonna go crazy trying to help. Them. And if you got five babies, nigga, two of them babies, you just fucking they mama with that ladies and motherfucking dick and just and calm down no. and be truthful enough and honest with the baby and tell the nigga I'm just fucking your mama. <laughs> and my, yeah, no, you man, listen, you can set them free if you do that. And y'all can be best and free. But if you go walk away, so I don't know what I'm nigga, they gonna come back looking for you. <laughs> they gonna come back looking for your motherfucking ass. But nigga, that's the consequences of making the baby here, making the baby there, making the baby over here, making the baby over there. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> nigga, you got some motherfucking explaining to do. And so, I'm gonna tell you like this here. Tell them the truth, but lie to the woman. <laughs> oh, boy, they so, what you mean lie to the woman? Nigga, if you want a happy life, you better learn to lie. <laughs> you lie anyway. Most of you niggas finna leave out this motherfucker and go home and fuck like you the best fucking nigga in the neighborhood. And you ain't doing nothing but cheating with that dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 he got that honey dick. He in that motherfucking room trying to bounce off the dresser, jump off the wall, and get honey packed dick, and just don't know he got a little bit of that alcohol. Yeah, nigga, like, you know, like a motherfucker with that good dick. That ain't no good organic dick, he know like a motherfucker. Man, that nigga. Man, listen, if you think them motherfucking gas station dick pills ain't driving in your ass to the dick you lying to me. Yeah, listen. I done been to seven funerals in the last two years. And ain't now nigga made it over six. And I know we all cheating with that dick. So, I just wait till we get to the burial ground. <laughs> Motherfuckers say what they gonna say with that ashy to ashy and dust and dust shit. Thank you, thank you. And we gonna get the flower off his casket. Boy, we go back to that church house and eat that chicken. <laughs> I pull up at that motherfucking table and say, 
Y'all think it was a DP of the kid? <laughs> and you know how to see the look on these nigga face. Every nigga in the tape, they look at word in the motherfucker. He ain't been to the bedroom, pork eating, sleep or fuck up. Suck a whole pussy and eat her ass till her catch on fire. <laughs> I told that nigga that was driving, 
I said, shit, I think I'm gonna come back and make a baby out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah, yeah, this one of them babies you can just send the money to and they gonna appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never got to show up. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, nah, man, I know what's out here, man. You man, listen, nigga, I done fucked in the ghetto plenty of time. Yeah, I done, I done left about three or four of the babies down off in the ghetto because nigga done made a baby with the wrong kind of hope. But nah, man, listen. Ghetto pussy. And ghetto children. They angels in disguise. See, because a hoe know how to play a role. See, a, a hoe can play the role of a woman and a bitch. But a woman, she just a one trick pony. She can't never play the role of a hoe. A woman can't never play the role of a bitch. And a bitch gets stuck in the rut. <laughs> No, 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 that bitch just stuck in the rut. See, I know you didn't come from pimping and macking around here, so the bitch is the problem, not the hoe in the woman. See, because when you study the Bible, nigga, it's only one woman that the Bible dictates and highlights that they got to hang with Jesus and his 12 disciples. That was a hoe. Hoe named Mary Mary. Mary was a hoe. Remember, God, yeah, she got to hang with the prophets. The Bible don't talk about now another, but that bitch. See that bitch tiptoeing, she a tiptoeing hoe, sneaking, playing hoe with the shame and don't want to embrace what's really inside of her. And just for the record, fella, every woman got a hoe. You just got to know how to bring it out. And if you don't make more of them, it's hard to bring it out. I'm going to say it again, if you don't make more of them, it's hard to bring it out. If you can't take that win off their ass at least once, Every other month, it's hard to find out. Boy, you get stuck with that woman. And what? When a woman get disgusted with a man, and he in a compromised state, she'll kick him with the ass when he's down. She'll make him feel less than a man, because she's a real woman. Trying to inspire and motivate him. That bitch will pacify him. Amen. Yeah, yeah, that bitch will give you $5 dollars for the cigarettes when you <laughs> Yeah, because she want to control. Yeah, yeah, that bitch will let you get the keys to the car, nigga. Till you show up late. Till you and his partner want to go out. And cook. you want to wash the car and put gas in it. And you done came in with a haircut. Thank you, go get your motherfucking keys, nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas, she know what you going to do with that haircut, nigga. And the only reason you get this treatment, nigga, with this bitch. Because a woman don't care nothing. You got, to, you got to have a little bit more than some good dick for a woman. That good dick on the last for a moment with that woman. That bitch, she gonna hold on to that good dick. <laughs> and see, I got a group of niggas where I call it the niggas with the good dick benefits clean. <laughs> this the nigga ain't got to have a job for a while. <laughs> he just got to know how to fuck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is the nigga that can eat the kid's snacks when she first gets in the And he like oatmeal pie, like her baby like oatmeal pie. And he eat up more pies than the baby. <laughs> now, now, this is the nigga, when he move in, and he just now moving in, he can play the game in the living room. <laughs> All day long. And get a meal cooked for him. All he got to do is fuck. But boy, when she get tired minutes. of fucking. <laughs> See, minutes. but what's gonna happen when she get tired of fucking? She got one of them rotten ass homegirls. Oh, yeah. She mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how she mad. <laughs> Cause all of them got one of them rotten ass homegirls, fella. Just trying to organize a girl's night out. <laughs> Later the night out. You know why? So they got one in that group boy that wanna suck all of pussy. <laughs> and she wanna do it every time she get drunk and they have fun and party. And she can't keep no man. She a riding bitch. She a riding bitch. She the one watching your Facebook page, all your social media posts. She seeing what pictures you like on the other whole page. Cause nigga, when they go on them girls trip, she want to suck that pussy. And she been sucking pussy since middle school. <laughs> How you gonna compete with that? <laughs> Pay her extra bill. 
I don't know. I didn't figure it out. Nigga, you ain't got no motherfucking money. Everybody in the household will represent you. I don't care how you that good dick will make her resent you. Cause when you leave out the house, she think you're going to go give it away. You ain't got nothing else to offer, sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and she already know it, man, there. That good motherfucking dick gonna get you hot in the cot for at least six months. <laughs> and you gonna be back in her motherfucking door trying to check on that credit score. She ain't gonna be cleaning up in your motherfucking house. <laughs> nigga don't get in credit together till you get with a one mile. Man, they don't get down about that shit. Yeah, she do a nigga just like Esther used to do Woodrow. You know what I'm saying? She was in the up and be over there at the party. Man, look at it. Yeah, it wasn't shit for I got with it, bro. I ain't got the credit up to 730. He driving the trucks down. He feed his LLC. Yeah. Say, so don't be nothing to them, to them women get with us and start coming. My woman did it for me. Right. Nigga, I was just like Barack Obama. Down off in the ghetto playing community activists. Uh, didn't know what the fuck to do trying to help poor children. And my woman saw one of my videos giving backpack supplies, school your way. And she came down there with an envelope to donate some money. And I didn't have a car at the time. And I said, I'm gonna marry you. She laughed like a motherfucker. <laughs> no, I ain't never get married. She you lying to me. <laughs> so as we courted and dated a little longer, she was shamed. Cause she made too much money to be dating a nigga. Uh, they had two kind of dreads that I had. And at the time, I was on a cover on the cowboy. We really was half ass looking like I was on dope. <laughs> 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 nah, man, nigga, I ain't just broke going through and trying to figure it out in the back. Yeah, so my wife come through and breathe life into a nigga. Uh, she give me $20,000. But, she showed me this movie called Acrimony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I was just like that nigga. Yeah, I was just like that nigga with all them bright ideas, what love be working. Uh, so she done gave me $20,000. And this how I found out with the gang banging niggas in LA. Cause at this time, I'm still idolizing the gang banging niggas. See where we come from in the, in the, in the mid 80s. We grew up listening to Two Short Spice One. That was more game and shit, right? Yeah. Uh, but the game banger nigga come through with the crack, and we as kids, so when colors hit, that captures our mind in the South. So that's how the Crippin' Blood niggas come through the South, and the gangster disciples don't ever really make it down there, right? So we become fascinated with this Crippin' Blood shit. LA become like our method. So this even until we grown. Mm. So my wife gonna give me $20,000. Now, I just moved back from L.A. I done made friends with all these niggas. So, I'm thinking I can invest in these niggas. <laughs> Start me a motherfucking, because I've been a public speaker. I've been doing motivational speaking and public speaking. So, I'm thinking I can get these niggas to come down through the South and do like a speaking engagement tour. Public speaking. Get these niggas on stage, do town hall me, talk to the youth, and sell tickets. So, I book King Babalu. Bring King Babalu into the city. And boy, them gang banging niggas, killing niggas, go crazy for him. They come out, buy a ticket. I think he made about six, seven thousand dollars. And he went back to California bragging like a motherfucker. Boy, them Texas boys. So now other niggas I fuck with, man. They can't make the kind of money. Well, I think I can buy these nigga books. Sell gang banging books in the community. <laughs> so I take that some of that twenty thousand dollars I made, got for my wife, and went and invested in goddamn books and flock. And my wife wanted to divorce me, won't have to know. Won't have to know. So I'm still having all these right ideas. Now I'm online, arguing with niggas every day, all goddamn day long. Got <laughs> nothing. Getting into it with a nigga on Monday, arguing with him on Friday, and really developing hate for him. Nigga, I don't know him. So when niggas say, man, you entertain people for free. Nigga, you get paid. I didn't know you get paid off that shit. But I'm broke. I ain't really a motherfucker. Nigga fucking with me by what I've been posting. 
And I'm helping in the community. And I got the gang banging niggas saying, man, why you got these white folk coming here every time to help you? Nigga, because I don't want to be. So I figured out how to go viral. Bitch ass gang banging nigga arguing with me. A full trade, Harvest Street gangster crib. Say, nigga, let's die today. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the sun was shining. It was a Thursday. It was tomorrow, Friday. Who on a Thursday? I drank my motherfucking car and drove straight to the police station. <laughs> I went viral on World Star Hip Hop. Community acting. So it pushed me out into this spotlight as a snitch. I feel that. Nigga, I ain't breaking law, so hell yeah, yeah, I tell on you, bitch ass nigga, nigga, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> so, but I don't with this money. I don't with this money, so my wife knew the hope and faith in me. Everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. Cause I, I, for what I was growing them dreads, and I had that ball spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they thought that nigga gonna go. So, I finally get a breakthrough. I find out how to monetize YouTube. So when I get on YouTube, I made $200. The more crazy is the shit I was saying, I went from $200 to $16,000 a month. And then they took it from me. I went to fucking with them Asians. <laughs> I didn't know they ran YouTube. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I went to fuck where they took that motherfucker. And I didn't know Asians called niggas niggas. <laughs> Nah, he was nigga agent. They were from up this way somewhere. Fuck <laughs> that nigga sauce. So I'm looking at a California nigga like, man, y'all ain't gonna help me? <laughs> they joined in with the agent. Fuck that nigga sauce. Boy, my little old feelings were hurt. Oh, for real, man, my little old feelings were hurt. Cause nigga, I used to claim one of y'all streets. Nigga, I don't know another home to my mama. Told mama, mama, fuck your dog. I'm about to trip dog. I don't reject your mama dog for you, nigga. So when they join in with the agent, I just went ballistic. Man, fuck everything. Fuck everybody. So boy, they been swearing up and down, they gonna kill him. Boy, I run into Mark James. He drive all the way from California. The rain on Washington door and another nigga with a gun on him. Boy, I'm gonna call police on them niggas so bad. Boy, I'm not doing shit. They really don't want to hurt. I'm a little old bitch nigga. Nobody's gonna want to hurt. So, when we do the interview with Mar Jane, boy, I show up with a big old motherfucker, uh, AK hand, gun, all kind of shit. So, we start arguing. I jump up away from the gun. Yeah, y'all got me fucked up. And boy, when I turn around, he right there. What are you talking about? What's up, nigga? I know they just talk to me. Cause they know I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> if I ain't made nothing clear up, these niggas know I'm gonna call the motherfucking police. <laughs> Not only that, niggas, I'm gonna show up in court. Because I saw these niggas picking shoes and they want to apply these rules to okay. So, it's a nigga in my city. He a bad motherfucker. That's nigga hit me in the head in the bottle shop. <laughs> that nigga a bad motherfucker. Every nigga in my city scared of him. Any of kill him. Any of kill him. But boy, when the feds came, he broke me and told me. And while, while he was in federal prison, I was saying, yeah, you nigga won't. Call Ked Spencer a snitch. I was saying his name. The nigga said, ooh. Cause would nobody say his name for me. Boy, 15 years later when he come home from prison. I forgot all about this nigga. <laughs> My nigga 
nigga sitting there sitting there saying, say, man, that nigga Spencer here, but I was real tipsy. I see it, y'all do that. <laughs> then it was time to go. And I forgot, my nigga said, man, let me get here. So I'm walking to the car, to the little bitch, sit down, and soon I look up, that big old nigga standing right there. He over, he got me boxed in the car like this here. <laughs> nigga, what I tell you? My nigga who had told me, he was in there and parked his car down that way waiting, so he come up with the gun. So that's the first time, nigga. So I gave an interview about this nigga, he caught me sleeping one time. He caught me sleeping one time. So this next time he catch me sleeping, they gonna stage this. I go to the bomb shop and go to sleep. <laughs> Boy, next thing I know, I feel a donkey kick. Oh! <laughs> Try to grab him. 
So when he tried to perceive like he coming to the stage, which I knew he was just bullshit, uh, yeah, I, I, man, I was frustrated. Hit him with that motherfucking flower pot. <laughs> <laughs> Dewberry had just jumped out. Man, Dewberry was looking at him and saying, come on, man, don't do this. Come on, man, I'm saying, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I know you for a while. I just hit you for a while. You hit me on Twitter every day, nigga, yeah. Look, cause then what I know, I done figured this shit out. Man, I made $60,000 off that incident, just in interview money. Because at least four different platforms go on the interview about me, what happens, and it's 10000 know, 8000 so, yeah, so I already know these viral moments is interview money. You know, so I can figure this shit out. But, it could have went worse. Oh, uh, them could have been some bad ass niggas in the crowd. Just so happened, there was some old niggas that didn't work out. Uh, they, they took them a little time to get on stage, so I got to prepare with the microphone. Throw the microphone. So in my mind, I'm having fun. When I get ready to grab that chair, I don't see that nigga running from that side to come make that tackle. And I had the money in my hand. Boy, man, you can tackle me. It felt like we fell off a cliff. Boy, it seemed like you too fell to hit that motherfucker ground. Boy, all I can think about is, oh, they finna get your head, man. Oh, they finna get your head. Some kind of way, I fall on top of that nigga, and he grabbed my neck and to his chest. So when the nigga was trying to come throw punches, they couldn't hit me. Man, I was trying to find that goddamn money I got. <laughs> Looking like a boy was trying to find that money. That's the back end. <laughs> boy, when I raised up and the police grabbed me, I thought about the charge. I said, man, can you give me to the back, sir? I've been attacked. <laughs> 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 so I had to go turn myself in. So I've been talking with my lawyer. Oh, uh, I've been saying? talking with my lawyer up to me, you know, uh, to work out to go turn myself in. So I'm gonna go turn myself in. Uh, my friend, what if I see one of these gang banging niggas that ass in jail? Huh? They want to fight. Nigga, I can only fight for a little bit. Yeah, I, I got a, I got a time here. Yeah. Somebody need to break it up. Yeah, I'm going to fall. I grew up in the boys' home. You didn't fight long in the boys' home. Y'all had about a minute or two. They were breaking up. We didn't fight like you niggas in prison. So, yeah. So, when I go in there, motherfucker, uh, I'm a celebrity now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had some police from Wichita, Kansas. They came in to come pick up some people. They wanted to take a picture. Uh, when I get on the floor, uh, all the niggas in the cells going crazy, hot in Charleston. Uh, some nigga hot as bitch ass nigga sniffing. Yeah, she's right out of here. Yeah, man, nigga fucking with me. Uh, so, uh, man, I would much rather be where a nigga watch TV and play domino. Uh, they put a nigga in isolation confined. Uh, high risk, uh, whatever they call you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, where the nigga don't need to sell for nothing. He bathed in the cell. He bring the phone in front of the cell. Oh, when it's time to get a visit, they bring the candle in front of him. I'm saying, man, I don't want to do this shit, man. No, man, man, I'm trying to think about who that little nigga said they killed at the barbershop last <laughs> week. You know how that little nigga be talking at the barbershop? Nigga, talking about nigga, I be missing. Nigga, I be missing my So they done put me on all these kind of goddamn born probation and conditions. Boy, they got me in the headlock. Like they had you niggas on parole. And I ain't used to this shit. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nobody caught me. Yeah, yeah, man. They said I can't smoke no weed or nothing. Nigga, man, shit. They, they got to threaten me for jail when they smoke that motherfucker weed. 
nah, nah, I'm gonna quit. He's lying to me. Yeah, we had too much fun, making too much money. But what I'm saying is, I beat an aggravated assault charge two years ago uh, from some gang banging niggas online threatening me coming to my youth facility. Uh, this young, this nigga here was, uh, he was special. He only had half a body. One arm. And he was making lots of threats. Oh. Uh, no, nah, man, I'm just down. What y'all say, man? This nigga wasn't no one day. Yeah, man, you talking about, man? Oh, uh, yeah, he was the blood. So, yeah, nah, this nigga showed up on the Cowboy Sunday, nigga, where the nigga play football. Niggas don't, you niggas don't make Oakland Raiders game. You don't make Cowboy game. And they showed up saying what they'll do to me. So, when they showed up, uh, nigga, I was ducked behind a building. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only difference was I 